Assalamu alaikum. Hope you all are well. Welcome to the new video. In this video, I will discuss about pronoun. The next part of speech. So, we will also discuss about the noun pronoun agreement and noun noun agreement and pronoun pronoun agreement. But first of all, we will generally discuss what is pronoun. A word refers to noun and can come to its place. To avoid repetition of noun, never ever repeat a same word in a paragraph. Sentence become awkward in starting. It means that if you are writing a paragraph on Kaidi Asan, if you uh, again and again using the word Kaid Azam that Kaid Azam has uh, Kaid Azam was the leader, Kaid Azam was uh, um, uh, struggling hard for Pakistan, Kaid Azam uh, make Pakistan people independent, Kaid Azam this, 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 Kaid Azam gave his lesson, Kaid Azam uh, was the first prime minister, whatever. It was, it is a, it is an awkward sounding because uh, again and again using the same word gives the paragraph or listening so hard to avoid this type of awkwardness pronouns are used pronoun are such words that come in the place of noun they replaces the noun and come at its place and make the paragraph sentence or essay more good in listening or reading for example molly is a girl think that molly should sell molly's car to molly's brother it is right but it's, it is too awkward so we will change the word mole into the pronoun or a pronoun replaces the mole mole think that she should sell her car to her brother a mole's brother here showing possession because of apostrophe plus s but we will write her if molly would be a y then we will write his and him we will we will write that molly think that he should sell his car to his brother okay is it clear where there are some types of pronoun demonstrative pronoun indefinite pronoun intensive also known as reflexive pronoun interrogative pronoun relative pronoun and personal pronoun so now we will discuss about types of pronoun Number one, demonstrative pronoun. These include the words this, that, these, those, such, here, there. The sentences in which this, that, these, those, such, here, there words are coming. You should immediately came to know that these are the demonstrative pronoun sentences. For example, this is a car. There was a valley. There are some socks in the cupboard. Here is a cockroach, etc. and etc. All of these sentences show the demonstrative pronoun. Number two, indefinite pronoun. Indefinite pronoun refers to living and non-living things. These are anybody, somebody, everyone, someone, each, everybody, either, neither. They always are considered as singular. For example, anybody is in the class. We will never write anybody are in the class. 
or someone are in the class we will always write that someone is in the class we will write everyone is here we will never write everyone are here and all of them but three indefinite pronouns are such pronouns that can be singular and plural as well for example all of this money stolen has have been recovered none of the money stolen has been recovered some of the money stolen has been recovered here it is singular but all of the houses on this block are for sale it means it is showing plural here none of the houses on this block are for sale because here es is coming and it is referring to the plural clear number three are the interrogative pronouns as the word interrogative show the questioning what does the word interrogative or interrogation means in a police station there is a interrogation room what is interrogation do you know interrogation is a room where police officers interrogate or question the prisoner so that's the interrogation is a room or the questioning place so interrogative pronoun refers to the questioning phrases who what which whom why where hey have you noticed something there is the addition of question mark all the sentences where question mark and the duplicate family coming who what which whom why where is came in wh family where are the books question mark it is an interrogative sentence who are you it is an interrogative sentence okay clear number four is the intensive or reflexive pronoun these are the nouns that can be singular or plural for example she herself he himself they themselves you yourself i myself be ourself it itself for example yasmin wash her cloth herself here it show a relation that yasmin wash her cloth by herself okay number five are the relative pronoun it is similar to the interrogative pronoun because here wh family came but it differs in living things and non-living things whom who whose came in the living things which that came in non-living things it replaces a noun and are used to join the two sentences. For example, the man is wearing a black coat. The man is driving fast. If we are here to join these two sentences, we will write the man who is wearing a black coat is driving fast. We will cut the man and here who will appear. So it is forming a relation between two sentences. So these are the relative pronouns. Number six, 
last but not the least and the most important pronoun is personal pronoun okay tell me in a conversation how many people are there one two three four five there are so many people but main are the three peoples number one is the speaker number two is the listener and number third one is the person of whom the talking is or the two persons are talking of whom the whom person is the third one these are the subject object and possessive these come singular plural first person second person and third person i come in the singular of first person and we come in the singular and the plural of first person when it comes to object because in a sentence structure there are three things subject verb and object so when the, it comes or it is changed into the object i will be changed into me we will be changed into us possessive that show possession for the first person i it will be changed into my and mine for example i have these pencils if it is changed into possession these pencils are mine here possession girl and my will be i will be changed into my or mine similarly we will be changed into our or ours as in the third in the second person both in plural and singular you can in object you not change and it all always remain you but in the possessive or possession you changes into your or yours in both singular and plural you are writing a novel our novel is been written by your hands here the possession come and the object change in the third person includes third person is the person of whom the talking is first person the speaker second person the listener and third person the gossiper or the headlines so the third person includes the he she it plural not change he will not change it will not change she will not change in the plural sentence there will come only they object he will be changed into him in singular she will be changed into her in singular it will be changed it will not be changed however in plural they will be changed into them okay in the possessive or in the possession sentences he will be changed into his she will be changed into her it will be changed into its and they will be changed into their or theirs here are some example he goes to school he loves me you as they them her it here object is coming and possession my name is aliha this is my house the house is mine clear now the agreements between pronoun and noun and pronoun pronoun agreement will be discussed what is the pronoun noun agreement when antecedents are joined by or or nor what are antecedents antecedents are the last pronoun of the sentence the pronouns referring to them should match the part of antecedent 
when closest to the pronoun. For example, neither her sisters nor Jane will bring her their basketball. Here her sisters, here S is coming, we should write there. But Jane is singular and it is the last pronoun. It is, she is the antecedent. So we will write neither her sisters nor Jane will bring her basketball. Number two, neither Jane nor her sisters will bring their or her basketball. Here Jane is singular, we write her, but last antecedent is sisters, which is plural. So we'll mark the plural one. Neither Jane nor her sisters will bring their basketball. Here both pronouns must agree and here both pronouns are agreeing with each other. These boxes have unbroken lids, but these need to have its their lids replaced. These there because these are plural. These boxes have unbroken lids, but these need to have their lids replaced. Clear? I know pronoun is a very detailed topic, but it is the last portion of this topic. Pronoun, pronoun agreement. It may be especially confusing when antecedents is indefinite pronouns. What are the indefinite pronouns? Indefinite pronouns are the pronouns such as anybody, either, neither, each, someone, one, no one, somebody, etc. It replaces non-specific people, place, things and ideas. For example, everybody needs to bring their or his or her assignments to the class. Here we don't know everybody is who. We cannot claim them they are only one thing and they can be um, um, combinedly said there or they no they it is it cannot be considered as they because we don't know how many of girls and how many of boys are included so we will write everybody needs to bring his or her assignment to class similarly everyone turn his or her or his books to the library again everyone is singular turned his or her or his we don't know either they are the girls or the boys so we'll write his or her books to the library we will not write his because we don't know that everyone is boys or girls okay also if antecedent is plural then pronoun is also plural It means that if the antecedent, like uh, in the previous example, Jane and her sisters, if sisters, as sisters is a plural, then the pronoun would also be a plural. But if antecedent is singular, means if it came Jane, then the pro, uh, then the pronoun will be singular. So it was the lecture on the pronoun, a detailed lecture, but hope you all understand it, hope you like it. If you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe, like my video, press the bell icon so that more videos will come notified on your mobiles or laptops etc. Must share these videos with your friends. Meet you in the new session or the new videos on a new part of speech. Till then, have a nice life and good. Allah Hafiz.